Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into this full face of makeup today. I'm starting out with a serum this morning. This is my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. And I'm just putting this all over my face so that it can soak in while I'm doing my eyebrows today. I'm also going in with my Juno & Co Miracle Cream. This is their Moonshine Miracle Cream. As you can see, it's very, very thick, nice and rich. I'm still familiarizing myself with this moisturizer. So far, I actually really, really like it. I think it's very nice, it's thick, it absorbs into the skin very nicely and it leaves it feeling nicely nourished. Do I think it's worth $35? No, <laughs> but I do like it. Okay, now I'm just filling in my brows. As usual, you guys know I love to use my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. Um, I think I use the shade Blackest Brown. That works best for me, but I'm just filling them in, brushing out the front portion, and to clean them up, as usual, using my Wet n Wild Concealer. Now the shade that I use is Dark Cocoa, and it just works out well for me because it's a good shade for my skin tone, and it's easy to use. I love using this flat brush from the BH Cosmetics Marble Set. Works out perfectly for me. Now to prep my lids today, I'm using the P. Louise base that I got from my girl Lily. I'm finding that I really like this base. It's a very, very nice eyeshadow prep. I like it a lot. Now this is the palette for today, you guys. It is the Viseart Dark Matte. Oh, look at how gorgeous those colors are. So I'm starting out with the navy blue. And I knew I wanted kind of like a winged out look. So I'm just tapping that navy blue in the outer corner and kind of stretching it out into a winged out shape. As you can see, it is very pigmented. Right next to that, I'm tapping down some of the purple. It's kind of like the dark, um, cooler toned purple in this palette so so pretty and it blends out really nicely with that navy blue right next to that i'm going into this gorgeous orange shade now when i put that down on my lid i was shocked at the pigmentation i mean it is so bold it's just gorgeous you guys that color is so so pretty beautiful Next to that, I'm going into this shade here. It's not really a basic yellow. It's kind of like more of a Cheeto type orange. Just tapping a little bit of that in the corner and blending it into that other orange shade. Now I'm cleaning up the edges of this look a bit before I go in with my lid. Now I decided I wanted to use one of my chunky eyeshadow, or eyeshadow pencils. This is from Shani. And it's in the shade Esmeral Night. Really, really pretty green color. And I felt like this color was pretty close to the green that I wanted to use out of the palette. But I wanted to lay down a base first. So that's what I did with this pencil. Now I'm going back into that purple and just tapping it right next to that green that I laid down from my jumbo pencil just to get a nice blend. Going back into the palette and grabbing that green shade and just tapping that right on top of that base that I laid down from my jumbo pencil, just to make sure it stays all day. So yeah, just tapping that down, blending it into that purple, just to kind of create a nice gradient look. Now moving on to the face, I am using my Pore Professional Primer today. I really like using this like in my T-zone area and in the areas where I do experience a lot of pores kind of showing through my foundation. I do like it for that. I actually really like this um, primer. Now for under my eyes to help conceal my dark circles, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer. And I find that this concealer works really nice for coverage and it's pretty thin. So it doesn't make my under eyes feel cakey. 
when I use it because I do use another concealer to brighten. Now for foundation today, I am using my Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I picked the shade Maple. It's kind of hard to choose shades as you guys know online since I did buy it from the Boxy pop-up. You know, they only had so many shades available. But I thought that this one I could work with and actually it does work out even though it does come off a little bit light for me. It's a little bit light for my skin tone once I complete my face using the rest of my makeup and bronzing and contouring. It works out just fine. Now this foundation is a bit thick so just for your information it is a little bit thick. Now to brighten and highlight under my eyes and around my mouth and forehead area, I am going in with one of my absolute favorite concealers. This is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I use the shade 11. It works out nicely for me. It does add just a slight amount of brightening. Now if my foundation was a little bit darker you would be able to see that this concealer does brighten me up a bit more but because my foundation is on the lighter side today it's not brightening me as much as usual now to set all of those highlighted areas into place I'm going in with my Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder I do use the shade Golden Bronze if you guys are regular on my channel, you know that I love this powder, <laughs> okay? I don't see myself buying anything else, you know, for a while because I love this powder. It's just, it's so smoothing, it's so fine, I like it a lot. Now I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. This is their Sun Stalker in the shade Coco Naughty. Now what I will say about this bronzer, it is, is it's a very nice formula. Very smooth, blends out very easily, very nicely, but it's not deep enough for me. It just doesn't go deep enough and dark enough for me. And I feel like the next shade up, I wouldn't like it because it seems to be a bit too red. So although this bronzer does show up very lightly, and it blends out like a dream, it doesn't go deep enough for me. Just the shade is not, it's not dark enough for me. But this is how it looks on my skin tone. Now because I do want to go a little bit darker, I'm going into my Black Radiance and this is my sculpting palette. And going into the bronzer, you see that? You see how much warmer, richer, and more pigmented this bronzer looks on my skin tone. I like that. That is what I'm looking for right there when it comes to a bronzer. I wanna see it, I wanna feel it, I want to look like I just got off the beach. So I'm going in with this Black Radiance bronzer and this palette that I'm using is actually the darker one. It's the dark to deep palette. And so that's probably why I like it so much. It's just like, hello, okay? But this is what the bronzer is looking like now after I used my Black Radiance Sculpting Palette in Dark to Deep. I love it. Now for blush, I'm using my Morphe Blush Palette. This is the 8C palette. Going into the shade Queen. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's like a beautiful light plum shade. I love this color in this blush palette. I really want to get their other blush palette as well, the warm one, but I just haven't grabbed it yet. Now to set my whole face in place and just make everything kind of cohesive together today, I'm going in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and just gently tapping some of that powder all over my face just to make sure everything blends and sets nicely together. Now for highlight, you guys, I'm going into this Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Chasing the Sun Highlighter Palette. Beautiful, beautiful packaging and uh, hello. <laughs> you guys see that highlight? Oh my goodness. And I did not even put a lot on. It was so pigmented. So I'm just going in with my finger 
gently blending that into my skin so that it can just look like a nice healthy glow and as you can see it blends out very nicely very easily it didn't take me a long time to just kind of rub that into my skin with my finger now for my lower waterline I'm just going in with my Rimmel and this is the scandalized eyeliner I believe just a black one I really really like it it's extremely black and it stays put all day going back into the palette I'm using this more red toned purple shade just to smoke out my lower lash line and try to just connect it in the outer corner so that it can you know combine with the upper shadow as well now I did add a little bit of black eyeliner even though this eye look is so bold you know you can actually go without it but I did add a little bit of my black liquid eyeliner from NYX just along my lash line because I knew I was going to add lashes today and wanted to make sure I covered up any eyeshadow that had fallen on my lashes. And these are the falsies I used today. They're from Kiss. These are in the style KFLM02 just in case you're curious. For my lower lash line, I did go in with my Pretty Vulgar Mascara. Now for lips, I am using my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner. It's a beautiful deep cranberry shade. You guys know this is my favorite. It just works for me, so that's what I'm using today. And once I blend that out on my lips, I want to create a little bit of an ombre today. So I'm also going in with my Shayla and ColourPop. This is one of the ultra satin lips, so it's not as drying as the matte lipsticks. I really like the consistency of their ultra satin lips. But this one is in the shade Slow Down, and I'm just using that to create an ombre lip today. Topping that off with some of my e.l.f mocha twist gloss and this is their lip plumping gloss another favorite of mine and this is the look today you guys so yeah it came out pretty much exactly how i wanted it to nice and bold really showing off the colors that are in this palette and i really really love it so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles